This video will explain how to eliminate DAC offset from your system. This tutorial is for DC brush motors only. To have DAC offset, or digital to analog converter offset in your system, means that when you command a 0% magnitude output on the DACs, your system physically outputs a non-zero amount of voltage onto the DACs, or onto the output control signal that your access interface card is sending to the amplifier. This can be due to a number of things, including physical imperfections or changes in temperature in the DAC circuitry. To eliminate this, we need to set motor x.dac bias equal to the negative of the voltage that the DACs put out, converted to units of a 16-bit DAC. That is, we need to scale the voltage to plus or minus 32767. For most analog output control signals, a positive 32767 corresponds to a positive 10 volts DC output signal to the amplifier, and a negative 32767 corresponds to a negative 10 volts DC output signal. Note that we still scale to plus or minus 32767 even if your access interface card has 18-bit DACs. This calibration only needs to be done once per motor setup unless the user expects the temperature to vary wildly throughout the machine's operational lifespan, in which case the DAC calibration should be done regularly. To manually calibrate the DAC, set motor x.dac bias equal to zero, and then issue pound n HMZ, where n is the motor number. The HMZ command resets the encoder position, allowing us to observe changes in position relative to zero rather than relative to some other arbitrary position. Then we issue a pound n out zero command for motor n, and then immediately pound n k to kill the motor. Out zero issues a 0% magnitude output command to the DACs. At this point, if the motor does not move, the offset is fine, and you do not need to modify motor x.dac bias. However, if the motor moves in the positive direction, you need to decrease motor x.dac bias iteratively. That is, issue pound n HMZ and then out zero, watch to see if the motor is still moving positively, and then kill the motor. Decrease motor x.dac bias and repeat the process until out zero produces no motion. Negative values of dac bias are acceptable. If the motor moves in the negative direction instead, you need to increase motor x.dac bias iteratively until out zero produces no motion using the same process as in step three shown here.